Hello my lovelies! Welcome to my book review! We're doing this one this month. This week? This year? We're going to start again, I think. Hello my lovelies! Today I'm going to do a review on The Raven Boys by Maggie Schaefer. I'm a little bit sick today, so we're drinking tea! I enjoyed this book quite a lot. I'm really excited for the rest of the series because this is book one. I believe there's four and at least the first three are out. I'm not about the, sure about the third. Um, I give it three and a half out of five. I did like it a lot. It's not the very best book I've ever read so I don't want to give it you know, too high of a grade because of that. Um, what else about this book? Uh, this book is about a girl named Blue who is, yeah, I'm totally just getting comfortable now, um, <laughs> who is part of a psychic family. She herself does not see the future or things like that. She's just an amplifier. Due to that, when she sees a ghost on St. Mark's Eve, it's a very big deal. It either means he, that the person's going to be his, her true love or she's going to kill them. Throughout her life she's been told that if she kisses her true love he will die. So there's that. <laughs> um, so there's a possibility that the boy she saw on St. Mark's Eve as a ghost, as a premonition of who's going to die um, could be her true love, or she's gonna kill them, or maybe it's the same per same thing. His name is Gainsey. When she initially meets Gainsley after this, she doesn't uh, recognize him right away. Um, it's not till the next day when she meets him and learns his name that she knows this is the same person as she met on St. Mark's Eve. It kind of drove me a little bit nuts that at first she didn't recognize him straight away because she saw him as a ghost making it seem like she should recognize him in person, but that's just me. Tea. As this book progresses she becomes friends with not just Gainsey but his group of friends being Adam, Ronan, and Noah. They start spending all of their free time together looking for something that Gainsey is very into um, doing, to do, doing to do with. Doing to do with. Yeah, these are the words that come out of my mouth. Um, there is these lines of power called ley lines that run around the world. It's something that is based on real beliefs. Um, Gainey is looking for a lost king called Glenn Dowers and he believes that his body has been moved from Europe area to the states keeping him on the ley lines, keeping the power in the body, blah blah blah. <laughs> That's what the main reasoning for their adventuring is through this book, is that they're looking for answers and if they can awaken the ley lines and how to do so. They find an area on the ley lines called the Caves Water. It's a very interesting area where Time isn't in exactly a lineal fashion. It can be the present to the future to the past at any moment kind of thing. Doesn't seem to quite like jump, but when you go you don't know if you are in the present tense, the future moment, 
or what. Sometimes also when you go in, it can be a different season than the one you left. Even while you walk through this area, it can change from spring to summer to fall to winter kind of idea. It was really good. I enjoy it greatly. I'm excited to see where their adventure takes them in the next books. One of the overarching themes in this book is that all of the characters, mostly the main characters but also some of the side characters, have skeletons in their closet. That little demon inside them that whispers bad things in their ears, almost, kind of idea. Where P. Ronan, who you barely get to really know in this book, but he seems a little bit stuck. He doesn't know what to do with his life. Things have happened and who he is now has changed from when they all became friends originally, the boys. And one day throughout the adventures he finds a baby raven and adopts it kind of thing, names her Chainsaw and he finally has something, someone kind of idea that he gets to take care of and he can love unconditionally and I, that starts to make a big change in him. Also with like Adam, he has been controlled by his life by so much with people in it that he refuses to let anybody help him even if the help is based in love because he so very much wants to have control of his own life and decisions. All the characters have are described in a way that gives you enough ness so you feel like it's written about a person not just here, I needed this character and this character to fill in some plot holes, so I'm just putting them in there. They have a real roundabout kind of... None of these words are working. They're well-built characters! Yeah, I like it. Oh, good golly. I am excited to read more of these books. I don't know when I'm going to get to them, but maybe in December. Because right now I am trying to read this beast, City of Heavenly Fire by Cassandra Clare. It's a monster. I finally hit the halfway point. It's taken me eight days. So I'm not sure if I'm going to keep going full out on that one or stop in the middle and read something else so that I have something to review for next week which is pretty important I feel you guys want to hear me talk about something maybe I don't want to review a sixth book of something especially because I can't review all of them it's been so long since I read the first five Does that makes sense thank you for watching my book review on the Raven Boys by Maggie Schaefer Love you guys. Mwah. Also, down below, I'm going to put a link for the Raven Boys. And let me know what you thought of this book review, what you thought of this book, what you guys are reading. Thanks. Love you guys.